Hi, my name is Melissa von Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Beauty of Joseph's Revive Serum. And the key ingredients are 63% of Gizang root water and 3% of snail mucin. And the formulation is supported by niacinamide, centella asiatica extract and hyaluronic acid along with other great herbals which are rich in antioxidants. Now it is primarily a hydrating and soothing serum which does also offer some great brightening benefits as well as anti-aging properties. And you can use this serum on all skin types daily in the morning and or evening on its own or in your current existing morning or evening skincare routine. It's always a great addition to add into if you just want to have something that hydrates and soothes the skin yet is very lightweight. Now I'm going to get started immediately with the application. Now remember that the first step in your morning or evening skin routine is always starting off with a freshly washed face. And this is where you're going to pick the right cleanser for your skin type and needs. As an example, I'm going to use Beauty of Joseph's Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. Great for all skin types. It's a regular water-based cleanser that needs to be applied to wet skin. Remember that when working with water, use lukewarm water to warm water, which does not only feel comfortable on the skin, but it also helps the cleanser to work more effectively. And make sure to avoid hot water, otherwise it may dry out your skin. When washing your face above the sink and you're trying to get off everything from the skin surface, I recommend using a soft, clean, damp washcloth, which you're going to wet, squeeze it out, and then use the damp washcloth to remove any last traces that you may have missed. And then lastly, you're going to pat the skin dry. Now those are essential steps which I now want to demonstrate to ensure proper layering, absorption and avoiding skin sensitivities. So let's get started. I usually recommend using about a coin size amount of cleanse in the palm of your hand or fingertips. However, with this one, you can use a bit less, otherwise it may feel like you're using too much product as it bubbles up quite nicely. Rub your hands together and then massage it all over your face at night for about 30 seconds. Now rinse it off. Then take your damp washcloth to remove any last traces that you may have missed. Now I recommend rinsing again. And then take a clean towel and gently paddle over to remove the excess water drops on the skin surface to ensure proper layering and avoiding skin sensitivities. Once you're done with your cleansing step, you now, as an optional step, can move on, for example, to Beauty of Joseph Jizang Essence Water. This could also be replaced with your hydrating and soothing toner, or for example, an exfoliating acid toner, depending on your skin type and needs. So remember, it's next step after cleansing. And then after that, you're going to move on to Beauty of Joseph's Revive Serum. This is now where I want to keep my main focus on. Now when applying it to the skin, my general guide would be use between 3 to 5 drops for your face and neck. And you can dispense the drops in the palm of your hand, fingertips or immediately onto your face and then start blending it evenly all over your face and neck. In my case, I'm now going to rub my hands together and then applying it to the skin. Once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And now you can give it about 30 seconds to a minute if necessary for the zone to absorb into the skin before moving on to the next step to ensure proper layering. Now in the evening or if you do not have any sun exposure at all during daytime, you can stop right here and keep the routine very simple, use the zone on its own, there you have it. 
or if you now prefer to follow on with a moisturizer go ahead and do so just remember to pick the right one for your skin type and needs and as an example I do have Beauty of Jocelyn's Red Bean Water Gel Moisturizer right here which in this case will be more suitable if you have an oilier skin type as it's a gel type moisturizer if you have a drier skin type look for a richer cream and then use about a pea to a bean size amount and apply it evenly all over about that much more or less rub your fingertips together and then apply it on top of the cell And again, once you're done with the application, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then this can be the last step. During daytime, if you have no sun exposure or in the evening, if this is going to be your evening skincare routine. So you can see, you can keep it very simple. However, remember that if you have sun exposure during the day, your sunscreen is an important step, which should not be skipped to protect the skin from the damaging UV rays. And when then adjusting your morning skincare routine, you can use a moisturizer before applying your sunscreen however if you feel like the sunscreen is hydrating enough you can also leave out your moisturizer in the morning so you can see and adjust it based on the products that you have picked and your preference and based on how it feels on the skin as well now as an example i have beauty of Joseph's sunscreen right here which could also be used on its own i find it a quite hydrating sunscreen and as a general guide i recommend using about half a teaspoon for your face neck and ears of course this guide can be slightly adjusted based on the sunscreen that you may have picked like a gel type sunscreen then you may want to use a bit less as well as the area that you want to cover if you just want to use it on your face you need to use less if you want to include more of your decolletage then you need to use a bit more to evenly cover the entire area and remember to apply a sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure I have half a teaspoon right here to give you a visual guide about that much more or less so about that much when using it immediately onto your fingertips or into the palm of your hand Rub your fingers together and then apply it evenly to the exposed area, keeping now the main focus to where you are going to apply your skincare products. And remember, you can use your sunscreen around the eyes. If it does not irritate your eyes, just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If the sunscreen does irritate your eyes, uh, avoid the eye area, wear sunglasses instead or change to a different sunscreen that you can use around that area, but still make sure to protect that delicate area too. Once you're done with your sunscreen application, well then this can be the last step in your morning skin care routine. Unless you're a person that likes to wear makeup, then it is advised to now wait 10 to 15 minutes for your sunscreen to set before moving on to your makeup application. When it comes to your sunscreen reapplication, you really need to adjust it based on your day-to-day -day activities. Let's say you are spending most of the time indoors and you're only leaving the house for short intervals because you're going to work, school, grocery shopping. By the end of the day, it's maybe just up to half an hour or one hour where you have sun exposure. Well, if you're going to apply your sunscreen properly in the morning, as I just demonstrated, it should give you enough protection for the entire day. In that sense, there's no need to reapply it um, throughout the day because all what this can do is that it feels uncomfortable on the skin or it may even cause sensitivities. Now it is a bit different if you should have um, a workplace or if you sit in school where the sun is going to immediately hit you in the face because you're sitting close to a window then it is advised to reapply the sunscreen every two hours or more frequently. The same applies to if you're spending loads of time outdoors without seeking shade or immediately after sweating or swimming where the sunscreen can wear off or rub off. So again, remember you need to adjust it based on your day-to-day -day activities. 
Lastly, I want to emphasize that if you want to recreate my example morning or evening skincare routine at home and you're wondering what products that I have picked, you want to have a more detailed um, application guide, I have prepared for you everything in the PowerPoint. So um, after the morning and evening skincare routine, you'll find also the product description box part, which lists all the products that I have emphasized and listed in my example routines, what they do, for whom they are suitable, so that you can pick the right one. And after that, you'll find a general guide like how you can do a patch test, properly wash your face to avoid skin care pilling, layering tips and a proper sunscreen application and removal guide. It's all in the PowerPoint to give you a visual guide and proper instruction so you can check out the description box and you can even save the PowerPoint to your device. And this is what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you now want to see more educational skincare content, well then head on to my YouTube channel. There you will find much more. And I will see you there. Happy skincaring! <music>